what is going on my beautiful people and i want to start off by saying thank you to all the new subscribers that have been joining on the beautiful people family and uh i'm excited to have you guys and i hope you guys are excited to be here and go through this learning how to hunt and fish stuff that i'm going through as well but this week what we're going to be doing is we are going to be taking some primos takeout and this is row crop deer tract and it contains barley alfalfa molasses soybeans and oats and uh also have a also have a trophy rock as well as some whole kernel corn that's been dried out so i'm sure that the deer are going to love these things i've been putting mineral the past two i put mineral on here the past two times so twice this past month um, and it looks like there's still a good bit of mineral on the ground so i'm not worried about putting more mineral out right now but i'm just going to put some attractants out to try to bring in some more deer and i'm sure a bunch of different stuff is actually going to come into the corn as well but i will see you guys back here in two weeks once i put out this stuff and we'll see what the area looks like just a reminder of what the area looks like now uh big mineral site there's still actually a molasses block out here and uh, still pretty damp. There's a lot of tracks and we have our trail camera over there. I just pulled the card from the video up above. And so make sure you go check that out if you haven't seen it. And uh, without further ado, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get this stuff out. I'll show you what it looks like once I have this product on the ground. And then, like I said, we'll come back in two weeks and see what's been coming to the area. So this is our finished product. We got the Trophy Rock, the Primos Takeout, which is a bunch of different seeds. And then we, of course, have the dried corn. And I'm sure if you guys are thinking what I'm thinking, we're definitely going to have some fat and happy squirrels. So I might be coming back out here and doing some squirrel hunts in the future. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to uh, tag along on that adventure. We're going to go ahead. We're going to get our camera switched back on. Close it down. And we will be back in two more weeks to see what's been coming to this area and see what kind of bucks we got in the area. Of course, we're going to be putting back in a food plot over here uh, about early September, late August. And of course, we got our deer stand already in the woods, prepped and ready for bow season. And uh, you guys might want to subscribe because speaking of bow season, I got some pretty exciting stuff that might be happening pretty soon. So make sure you subscribe, turn on those bell notifications so you don't miss it. All right, everybody. So we made it back after two weeks to where we put out those corn cobs and the trophy rock. And as you can see, all the corn off the cobs has been eaten. I'm actually going to pick those up and throw them over to the side. You can also see that there's still some of that seed and stuff, but you can definitely tell that there's been plenty of stuff rumbling around in here and eating, and the trophy rock is a little bit smaller, not too much smaller than it was beforehand. Still got our little mud hole here, and it uh, looks like there's a couple tracks, not too many, but there's also actually some, I think these are muscadines that have dropped on here. So again, we got another muscadine vine here, which is very nice. Hopefully the trail camera will tell us that there's been plenty of stuff here and i got a couple more pieces or i got another attractant that i'm going to put out so you're going to have to subscribe that way you don't miss that but other than that i'm going to pull the trail camera card and i'll see you guys back at the house okay everybody so i made it back to the house after pulling the trail camera card from the river bottom where we have that bow stand and guys i'm not gonna lie to you i'm a little disappointed you know i was really expecting to get more pictures of deer than i did i got a thousand pictures of raccoons and possums they came in they tore the corn up um, which i'm not surprised about by the slightest but i've already looked at another trail camera that we put up on the hill and uh it brought the deer in it really did and there's a couple really good bucks up on that side of the property so i don't know i mean we have a pretty small track of land it's less than 100 acres so there's just clearly a divide in where the deer are at the moment they are up on that hill so i might be moving this trail camera soon but i want to know in the comments below like how long will you leave a trail camera in an area not really getting pictures of deer before moving it uh, this one's been out for about a month or so and i haven't really seen much now i did get one buck that's pretty decent on camera he's one that we're gonna have to let grow it's a two-year-old he's really tall i'll put a video up of him um on screen here for you now i'll follow that one up with a spike that we got just so you guys know that there are a couple younger bucks in the area it was good to see that spike and then almost one of the biggest coyotes that i have seen in a while we got on camera and this one wasn't in the daytime luckily but that's a big old boy that's a big old puppy um, I'll give you guys just a glimpse, just a glimpse of what we got on the other trail camera. And we got a bunch of pictures of him. So make sure you guys subscribe, turn on those bell notifications and do all this jazz popping up 
that way you don't miss the video where I go a little more in depth about figuring out that deer and, and you know what that deer is doing and hopefully we'll be able to track that deer down because he's a big one and uh, I'm really hoping to get a deer with my bow this year as you guys know I've been, I bow hunted hard last year never really had any encounters with any big bucks while bow hunting or while gun hunting for that matter um, I'm working on it guys I'm trying to figure out the strategies of bottlenecking and all that stuff and trying to get some better stands up that way we can get a big buck this year and i was actually looking into getting a new bow that's a, a big surprise it hasn't come in yet due to covid and everything like that i've called this body or this bow shop uh once a week for probably a month now waiting on them to come in and, and every time they're saying you know next week next week next week but they're just not getting them from their suppliers and I was getting a little frustrated with it, you know, I'm not going to lie, and that kind of leads us into this verse of the week. This verse of the week is going to be Psalms 46.10, and it's pretty simple. Be still and know that I am God. And so I was, you know, feeling those emotions. I was getting a little frustrated. I was like, come on now, why isn't this bow in? Why can't I go get it yet? And this psalm came to mind. Be still, calm down, know that I am God. It will get there when it needs to get there. You know, we all struggle with things, but we got to strive to be better today than we were yesterday. And we need to pick up our cross and walk with God every day. Whether it's sin, whether it's just loving your brother, whether it's doing a nice act for somebody, every day we need to try to be better than we were the day before. And uh, that's just something that was really hitting home with me. Just be still and know that I am God. I know a lot of the time, especially in this world, it's really easy to get anxious. It's really easy to get nervous. It's really easy to feel those intense emotions. But sometimes it's better just to sit back, you know, have that quiet time. Know that God is working whether you see it or not. But guys, I'm not going to make that one a little more complicated than it needs to be. You know, just be still and know that God's in control. And so, hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week. Stay blessed. And always remember, when nature calls or God calls, you better answer.